<laughs> this wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> now you're really asking for it. Get away from me! Hold up! Come on, Kosuke Kun. Are you done? <laughs> you can't help yourself, can you, Tommy? For being a lawyer, you sure like to settle things with your fists. A, a lawyer? How the fuck are you a lawyer? Yagami san, you're not really a detective? I'm a detective, all right. As for the badge, I still have a license to practice, so I hold on to it. Is it safe to assume, then, you used to work at Genda Law? Yep. Hit the nail on the head, actually. These days, he hands off the gigs that are better suited for detectives, like him. Now it's making a little more sense. Did you catch all that, kosuke -kun? <laughs> Huh? Well, if you want a closer look, I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. What? Yeah, care to go for a ride? <laughs> We're gonna be buds, Kosuke. Oh, time out! Guys, this isn't funny! These damn things off me! I swear this is all a mistake! Kosuke-kun... Uh, Yuko-chan! Don't let these assholes con you! Believe me! I didn't do anything wrong! Who the hell are these thugs? Who is Yuko-chan? Uh, uh, well... My name is Keiko, you jerk! And you think I trusted you? Here's the deal, Kosuke-kun. First, you're gonna cancel her debt to that bar. But that's not even my call. And second, they'll be returning every yen she paid. Plus a little extra for us having to deal with your bullshit. You're out of your freaking mind! Do you even know who you're- I have a pretty good idea. And I don't think very highly of con artists who prey on innocent women. <laughs> you tell him, Tom. Hey! That's my phone! Dial up that bar for me, would you? What bar? Drop the act, kid. That scam is the oldest trick in the book. You don't have any proof. Proof? Do we need to spell it out for you? We've got you by the balls, you little shit. Who even are you people? <laughs> Some of Kamarocho's finest. The Yagami Detective Agency. You mean, you're detectives? It's a name, smart guy. Huh? 
Everyone in town knows us. They do? You're goddamn right they do. Don't talk like you've never heard of us. Give the guy a break, Kaito-san. We're still getting our name out there. The... Yo. Know. Look, I, I get what you're after, but give it up. That money's as good as gone. The guy who runs that bar's ex-Tojo clan. I wasn't lying when I said he's Yakuza. Yeah? Well, I used to roll with the Tojo myself. I might even know the dumb bastard. You know he's all bark and no bite, don't you? The Tojo clan got disbanded. Yeah, but he's still a criminal! Just because his clan broke up doesn't change a thing! He's just a dickless ex-Yakuza strutting around, flashing a pin that don't mean shit. Still, even an ex-Yakuza is dangerous, right? Are you sure you'll be safe? Yeah, got this under control. Danger is our specialty. So, which number is the bar keeps? You really shouldn't. Still worried about pissing off an ex-Yakuza? I'd worry more about the one right in front of you. Or, would you rather try your luck? <sighs> Yo! What's up, Kosuke? Hey, uh, Chief. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be back at the shop, would you? Yeah, I am. Why, you, uh... Find yourself a new chick, huh? Keep reeling them in, don't you? <laughs> Not exactly. No? Well, hey, at least you still got Keiko unlocked. Yeah, these broads will do anything if you know how to squeeze them right. You could make a fortune milking her. Bastard. Wait a minute, though. What happens when Keiko brings you the money? Oh, <laughs> that's simple. First, we take the cash off her hand. Then we slap on a last-minute late fee and send her sobbing all the way to the soap lab. <laughs> right. Sounds like you got it all figured out. Wait. Why'd your voice change all of a sudden? <laughs> Took you long enough. Wait up. Who the hell is this? I suggest you remember this voice. Because I'm about to come knocking. And this time, you'll be the one paying the price. Holy shit. You're kind of insane, man. Sorry to break this to you, Keiko-san. Kosuke-kun had you fooled. No matter what lengths you went to for him, all he ever thought of was using you. You were just an easy mark the whole time. Don't get me wrong, Keiko-san. This did start out as business, but now I've seen... Uh, the light! <laughs> oh! That's enough out of you. Come on, let's get you back to Gendo's before the fireworks start. Trust me, you'll be safe there. <sighs> okay. You wouldn't want to see what we're gonna do to that place anyway. <laughs> it's gonna get ugly. You mean, you're going to take them on alone? <laughs> That's always how it goes down around here for some reason. Let's go, Keiko-san. Gendo Sensei's office is just up ahead. This is Genda Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, is like a father to me. He's been a well-respected figure in Kamrajo for years. Genda Sensei... Huh? Where is everyone? Oh, Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. Ah, I believe we met.
met the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> Sorry to impose, Genda Sensei, but can Keiko san stay here a while? Fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway. Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Saori-kun and Hoshino-kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti-nuisance ordinance violation. Huh? Oh, you mean... It's a groping case? She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it, the culprit was a cop, of all things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. It was all over the internet. Anything that stops the trains during rush hour makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been, I don't recall. Like, that'll do him any good. Stop that man! That man's a grover! Stop him! Stop him! I, I, I didn't do it! Let go! This man grabbed me on the train. He put his hand up my skirt. No, you're wrong. You got the wrong guy. Stop struggling, asshole. Let me go. The cops can check your hands to see if you did it or not. We'll be here in a few seconds now, so just chill out. Hey, are you filming this? Put that camera away. Do you mind sitting up straight in court, please? <laughs> A bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Does it even matter? It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. Leave an impression. <laughs> well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical, either. Besides, the judge hasn't... It's decided. Guilty is charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? And so, let's get this show on the road. All rise. Well, like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Sauri Kun at the bench, but. Hoshinokun insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Saurikun's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, how'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean 
he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the forest anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it, in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Comro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kuhn, who just happened to take the call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san.